Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. You know how things can just change in a day. But we're talking about, of course, a limited attack. And you're going, what? Yeah, remember a limited attack for Syria? Well, see, part of it is things change over time and based on this and based on that. Oh, now, that limited attack is now for three months at nine billion, yes, nine billion dollars, and it involves a long range attack. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, God, yeah, because the Republicans fell into the latest Obama trap. In order to do what is needed to do, which is to attack Syria, which is growing in proportion, a disproportion every single day now, that we have to increase the budget to the military to replace what was taken out and sequestered. The Democrats are going to Democrats in return for for basically killing the cuts in the military are going to put back in all the money that was cut out of the Obama's program. So guess what? The, the Obama wins again. He's going to get full funding for Obamacare now. All the social programs are going to get full funding and all of this stuff. And that uh, oh, what would one of the morons have said? Well, that wasn't supposed to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, and then, well, it's all over anyway because Bill Riley says we have to do this because we are a noble nation and nobility requires this. Well, um, anybody remember the Italians going to war because it was a matter of pride of their country? The Germans going to war after they lost in World War I because it's a matter of pride? Well, Bill O'Reilly thinks that we should go to war because it's a matter of nobility. We have to show the world we're noble people. Uh, and then, oh, what was it they said? Uh, one of, the, Jew, one of the, um, the experts, Muslim experts said, he said, I will guarantee you all the countries in the Middle East are willing to have the American fight for them until the last blood of every American is shed. Hmm. And the president never drew a line in the sand. No, he didn't, on, as Jay Leno said, uh, he didn't do this. He didn't do this, he didn't do this, he didn't do this, he didn't do this, he didn't. That's when he decided he, that point it was all over because when he backed up against the wall, there was no place to, to draw a line. <laughs> but the Repu oh, Republicans were responsible. I was not. That's the, that came out this morning. Well, it's Congress that is trying to save face, not the president. I know. Okay. Congress, okay, the Democrats don't want to get involved, the Republicans don't want to get involved, but it doesn't make a damn bit of difference because the party leaders want to get involved, and the party leaders run Congress, not... Okay, you say that 80% of the people in the nation don't want it? Yeah, okay, this is, what Congress, this is what the American Congress basically says to the American people. <laughs> That's it. You know, they just turn around and show them their bare butt. You, you know, we're here... We don't care what you have to say because you're just going to elect, okay, how was it? 94% of the people are re-elected in their district every single election because they're doing a good job. It's the other guy that isn't. And urge, urge UN and the world to take deterrent steps on Syria. But they're not willing to do it. Okay, Muslims represent over 60% of the United Nations and there's not a Muslim country there waiting, willing to get involved. <laughs> yeah. Not a single country. Oh, None of them? But they do have a Muslim country that's willing to pay the cost of a short war, which is basically um, 36 hours. But the war is no longer the Senate. It wants to give Obama three months of pounding away every day. And, Why? Um, they, they, because, well, they said that, well, if, unless we actually do some damage, that he's just going to stay in place and it just makes things worse. And then, as, as, the, as the Democrats said, well, it's absolute. There's no truth in the matter that Al Qaeda is there in strength, other than the fact they hold one whole one whole section of the country, what? other than the fact that the Muslim Brotherhood is there, other than the fact that Hezbollah is there, other than the fact the Iranians are there. Well, there's a hundred thousand soldiers under the freedom fighters. Um, ooh, this guy used to be a general for Assad. Ooh, his general staff used to work for Assad. Ooh, his soldiers used to work for Assad. Uh, what does that mean? Well, you're just going to put another version of him in power if they take control. I know. Well, you know, three months, they give them through the new year. Okay, here's the thing, too, about civil wars. My family fought on both sides of the civil war. Um, uh, <laughs> which is funny. 
my, my German side of the family fought for the, the Southerners. My American side of the family fought for the Northerners. So there was at times that in the same, some battles, my, both sides of my family were fighting one another. Mm -hmm. But it works the same way you know, in, 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 in a civil war in Syria. You have brothers that are fighting against brothers because it's a civil war. You do not put our military to work in a civil war. It just, okay, Orby Daddy Altman just fleet said something else. He said, my grandmother a long time ago when I was a little kid, my, about World War II, he said, she said that she would be, because a lot of my family are Jews and we got wiped out. She said, you know, it really, when you're dead, it really doesn't make any difference how you die. Did you get gassed to death or did you get your head blown off? Mm -hmm. She said, gassed or head blown off? Gas or head? You tell me which is worse. You're and, dead. And why are chemical weapons worse than conventional weapons? Uh, because they don't get hurt. You have bodies. With a conventional weapon, you have blood, you have damage. And it doesn't, okay. What don't you get seen on television? Uh, Conventional weapon deaths. But you get to see a bomb, go, if you get to see a nuclear weapon go off, they get seen. If you see chemical deaths, it gets seen. Oh, and for everybody's information, the people that the president supports, as of this morning on a YouTube video, announced that if the United States doesn't take action, they will in turn use chemical weapons against the Assad government themselves. Which means, that what they were afraid of happening has already happened. The other side has chemical weapons also now, and they will use them, folks. And Syria adds to uphill battle for U.S. immigration reform. Well, no, they said that the Republicans are going to give Obama that victory because they've already, you know, they've already promised Obama that he's going to have it. They got 38 Republicans in the House to go along with the Democrats. It's the same people that are leading us into war in the House. They got okay. Uh, an equal number of Democrats and Republicans are going to vote against it, but there's enough Republican leadership to basically turn the tide so that Obama will probably win. Uh, it's going to be like the health care thing where he'll win by three or four votes in the House. And then he's going to start, oh, what was his last limited action? It took six, his last limited action was six solid months. And, and what did it result in? Uh, the country being ran by Muslims, and we had... Uh, an ambassador and a staff killed. Mm -hmm. And judge orders new hearing in Montana, right? Right oh, case. Oh God, this is a, a judge basically gave a guy 30 days jail sentence for the rape and death of a person. It's called okay. If a wolf, if a if a child dies as a result of a criminal misconduct, it becomes first degree murder. But they he he well he actually had not been informed that the child died. <laughs> he thought it was just a simple rape, and that we even got him in more trouble. I mean, this guy, they're going to throw his rear end out. Of, they got, he's not going to win next election, and they're going to hold him. This, they, you, it's all over. He did what? He wanted to give a 30-day jail sentence. Well, because she looked like she was older, and she deserved it. And feds won't enforce the same-sex of veterans law. Um, it's called, once again, the President of the United States doesn't care a rat's ass about the laws that are passed. You enforce the laws. It, it, it goes, it, it, Oliver Wendell Douglas said, the law is the law is the law. If you don't like the law, change the law, don't break the law. He just doesn't care. You can basically tell this guy, okay, here's how it works. Well, there's a law against robbing banks. I think I'll go in and take money out of the bank today and just ignore the fact that it's a criminal. So. Mm. And church is changing bylaws after gay marriage ruling. Well, the bylaws are not going. They're not going like what they're saying. They're still not going to marry gay people in their churches, no matter what Obama wants. The IRS cannot. The IRS has targeted people that won't do it. Well, that's not going anywhere. They said, "Here is the real bit. Why is there a separation between church and state in our country? Why? Because the British used to have. The British used to put people in as king. They were also head of the Church of England." Mm. And they did not want to have that happen in this country. So that's what the, the restriction between church and state is. You're not to mess with the church, but you're also not to elect a member of the church as the head of state. Ah, uh, and judge names research group chief to help reform New York police stop and frisk policy. Well, the problem is it worked. The crime rate stopped. Okay, here's the thing is, 90% of all the crimes are done by minorities in the, in the, in the city of New York. Uh, I think like 80-some percent of all the crimes in the United States are done by minorities. Uh, and a zillion, almost all the violent crimes are done by minorities. What happens is the stop and frisk law says you have to do something 
other than be a minority to cause a police officer to chalk or check you out because the Supreme Court has ruled if they think you have done something illegal they have the right to stop you and check you out. It doesn't say they can arrest you but they can't stop you. It's perfectly legal. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, that's a simple one today. He said the, the world is full of, um, of uh, misguided efforts. 